Hey everyone, it's Connie here. Um, I thought I would go ahead and do a video on the new release from the Crafters Workshop because uh, this time with this release, they are doing quite a few new things. Um, if you guys are familiar with their modeling paste, they have several. Um, they now have what they're calling these new stencil butters. And I am gonna go ahead and give you a sneak peek at everything. Um, these are the stencil butters. We have Orchid, we have Fuchsia. Don't mind my Band-Aid too, sorry. Um, we have Crimson. We have Marigold. And here is Gamboge. Gamboge, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. Here is, oh, my favorite, chartreuse. And of course, we have to have the turquoise. I'm going to run out of this probably first. And oh, look at that ocean blue. And they all have kind of like a little bit of a sparkle in there. Um, they just look amazing. Here is the lime green. And finally, this is terra verte. Okay, so these are the new stencil butters. Now, I haven't opened any of them. Um, let's just open chartreuse and look at this. Oh, gosh, look at that. Just a little bit on there. Look at how beautiful. Oh, okay, now I'm in love. Okay, look at that. If you want, I can do a sample of all of them. But first, I want to show you some other stuff. So I am just going to kind of put these to the side over here so you can still drool over them why I get a few other things that they sent out. I know, I'm trying to put them in the color zones, but here you go. Okay, so you can look at those. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is brand new with the Crafters Workshop. We have them now coming out with some stamps. Um, they are gonna be in packs um, set up. Now these, um are definitely this is called thank you hearts and this is all like for valentine's day or um, it even has a congratulations in here but these are called thank you hearts thank you with hearts and there's different fonts on it um that's beautiful so that's one set there here's another font this is sending love and this has again some more hearts and different love notes that you can use in your card making or your journaling um this is love you flowers we have some beautiful flowers in here and some little vines and again um some beautiful fonts look at that the curve and the love you and the little details now i haven't even opened them i just received them so i'll definitely be testing all of these out this one is called missing you and sorry <clears throat> i get the shakes and stuff i'm still on a lot of prednisone so uh, this one has, again, some beautiful fancy font in here and some vines. Oh, I love the little vines. Those are pretty. This is called When It Rains. We got some stars, some clouds, and some rainbow. And then we have When It Rains, Look for Rainbows. When It's Dark, Look for Stars. That's beautiful. This is called Sprinkle Kindness. Sprinkle Kindness Like Confetti. And then there's some little phrases down here. You are a treasure. You're so special to me. Be happy. Be kind to yourself. Sending you a smile. And hello, sweet you. And we have some little squiggles and little dots and stuff that you could definitely use in your journaling or in some card making. So this is the first set of stamps. Again, these are all set with letters and phrases and things that you would use for words. The next set of stamps, before I show them to you, I'm going to be showing you the new stencils. Now, these stencils were all designed by um, Valentina. I don't want to say it wrong, so I'm pulling this up. They were designed by Valentina Harper. Now, I don't know her very well, but I went to her Instagram page, and she has some of the most beautiful work. She's designed fabrics and other products. And these stencils are just right up my alley. I mean, I love mandelas and doodling and stuff, but these have that real organic type of feel when you look at them. They don't have that digitized perfection 
when you look at them, they give you that sense of like, it's real natural art, like you wanna use it. It's definitely something that I'm really, really can't wait to play with. And before I show you the stencils, what I'm going to do is try and do this carefully because she set it up so that the stencils coordinate with the stamps. Now, she came out with some stamp designs that will go with her stencils. So this one is the flower here. You see you have this flower. I don't know if you could see it really well in this design along with phrases. And this is called Sweet Sentiments. Now, if you look, that's the same flower that's in there. Um, and do you have anything else? Let's see. So this flower goes with it and you could even use this flower, I think, but they all coordinate. And that's what I'm really, really excited about. So here's her other stamp set. This is called Happy Sentiments. And again, you have some word phrases in here. And then you have these beautiful stamps, the clear rubber stamps with the doodles on them. And these flowers coordinate with the flowers and the stencils. So what I wanna do is let's get through this. Okay, here is the next set. This is called Precious Sentiments. And again, you have beautiful word phrasing and the flowers in this coordinate with the flowers in here. So it all goes together. And if you get creative, you could really go and have a lot of fun. I mean, you could make yourself, I'm just like, my mind is blown right now. So I definitely can't wait to play. So here we've got the butterflies. These are again, beautiful sentiments. And then we have the butterflies and here are the butterflies. Now wait till you see the stencils. I'm getting to that. And this is another butterfly. And again, you just have beautiful uplifting sentiments in this. Some of this is sending love across the sky. Hello, dear friends. It's just, these, like I said, the, the stamps are brand new and the Crafters Workshop worked it out so that the release of the stamps goes with the stencils. And all of this was designed by Valentina Harper. The word stencil, or the word, um, what are they called? The word stamp sets were designed by Kristen Police. Um, I don't know her again. And when you go to look at this, you'll be able to see how well they look. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get to the stencils because, I mean, that's just like the bread and butter for me. I love playing with them and I can't wait. So let's go to the first one. Here is the one of the designs. And like I said, that goes with it. This is TCW 930. This is called Cupped Daffodil. Oh, look at that. I mean, you can use the center, you can use this, but I put it on a black canvas so you could really get a good look at it. So that's one there. Let's get to the next one. Oh, here's the butterflies. I don't have these in order. I ripped through the box as fast as I could. That's just how I am. This is one of the butterflies and this is called Joyous Butterfly. And oh, look at how pretty that is. Again, you've got all the doodles. It reminds me of when I do the mandelas. You've got tons of fun in these. Here is the other butterfly. And this is called Sunny Butterfly. This is TCW 934. And here is another, whoops, they got stuck together, sorry. Let me unloop it, there we go. Another flower. And this is called T I don't even find this one. Oh, there it is. TCW 931. This is Colorette Dahlia. And here we have, oh, I really like that. Because you got the center flower and then you got the big flower. And each one of these petals is a different doodle. So you could definitely have a lot of fun with this. This is T. I Bella, get down. 938 Trumpet Daffodil. And here is the next flower. This is TCW 927, and this is Cactus Dahlia. I like this. This is beautiful, really pretty. And this is like a bunch of flowers. It's like almost like a bouquet. This is 
Peruvian Lily. Peruvian Lily. And this is TCW932. Bella. Sorry, I have a naughty kitty. Oh, this is my favorite too. I like them all. This is TCW929. And this is Felicia Daisy. And that is the last of the stencils by Valentina Harper. And again, we'll also have these in the 6x6 six six size, um, which is like one of my most favorite sizes. Um, but I really like the big ones this time. So here you get to see the detail on even the mini stencils. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at these laid out. I mean, just so much fun. And again, all those stencils coordinate with her stamp sets. So each of these stamp sets, I mean, how can you buy the stencils without the stamps? Because all that work is in there. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So anyhow, this is the new release. This just got mailed to me today. And I wanted to make sure I got out here and showed you. So we have the stencil butters and the rubber stamps, and those are brand new. And we have another brand new product from the Crafters Workshop. And this is the new Slimline Stencils. Now, these are going to be three and a half by eight and a half inches, I think. Let me double check the sizing on that. Let me get to my sheet. Sorry, I have to cheat. Um, Okay, here they are. So slimline stencils. And these stencils are, yeah, about three and a half by eight and a half inches. Yeah. And let me show you these. So you'll recognize a lot of these designs. Here we have the circle dots. And that is TCW, what is this? 2307. Next, um, ooh, I like that. It's got a good border for journaling. That's TCW 2306. And these are almost like the cookie stencils, but the, the size is small and easy to carry around when you're going to craft shows or when you're gonna go do some um, teaching of art. You know, you don't have to carry the big, huge stencils with you. This is TCW 2304. You've got your bricks. This is TCW, which one is this? 2303. Ooh, I like that, like a rock wall. And here you've got your stars. That's TCW 2302. And here you've got your leaf and your vines. You could almost use this in Bible journaling. You know, you've got the small enough that you could put it on the border of the Bibles if you're doing Bible journaling. This is TCW 2300. And here is your Harlequin pattern. This is TCW 2301. And here is another brick going the long way, the vertical way. This is TCW 2305. And I like that because you wouldn't need a 12 inch stencil. You could just use this. Um, this is kind of like grass. I actually like this. It's just a great little stencil for edge pieces in your journaling or in your artwork. This is 2309. And here, um, this seems to almost coordinate with the whole, the dots that we had in the other stencil. This is TCW 2310. And take a look at the scallop border on this all the way around the corners. I like that, that's really cute. Here we have like clouds, a beautiful border for clouds. This is 2308. And the last one is with the squares, almost like making film. You could make a strip of film you could put your photos in it for when you're doing your um, scrapbooking. I mean, there's a lot you could do. This is TCW 2311. So that's the new Slimline stencils. And these will be available on the website very soon. I'm not sure if they're available yet. I'm pretty sure that they're getting this together. And also, if you guys didn't know, the Crafters Workshop also sells um, artboards. Now, I use these artboards all the time in my work. This was set up specifically to fit with their sign stencils, and we're gonna get to those soon enough. And let me give you the direct sizing on these. This sign, 
boards are 16 and a half by six inches. And uh, these are really durable. They're already pre-primed with gesso. So I, you can either add more or not. And they have a really good smooth texture. Um, they work really well with water-based products. They hold up very well. They're very sturdy and I use them quite a bit. So they have that size. And again, that's the 16 and a half by six. They also have the six by six for the mini stencils. And they also have the 12 by 12. And again, these are available from the Crafters Workshop. These are an amazing product to have for when you're working on something that has a lot of wet projects or really heavy, or you wanna build up with your paste. They definitely will take a, a beating and they won't become saturated. They won't get ruined. So these are definitely, I recommend them. Um, we also offer watercolor paper. This is in collaboration with Ken Oliver. And this watercolor pa paper is one of my favorites because if you know the difference, there's cold pressed and hot pressed. Now, when I'm working on portraits, I like the hot pressed and one side of the watercolor paper is smooth and the other side is coarse, like on cold pressed. So you have cold pressed and hot pressed almost in one really beautiful quality, high quality watercolor paper. So definitely recommend that. The other side of the slim boards are the boards that they're gonna be coming out with now is the new size for these slim line stencils. And this is three and a half by eight and a half inches. So definitely have a lot there. Now, they also, as you know, we have in the past done the signage ones that we use. I don't have a guide on the numbers on these, so you're gonna have to bear with me as I try to read the stencils, but I'll just show you them. This is Choose Love. And again, these go on those art boards. These I love to use to make little signs to hang around, above and around in my house. This is like heavily, happily ever after. A nice little uh, gift you can make a sign for your newlyweds or if you go to a wedding in the summer. This is Let It Snow. And here we have, oh, look, it's a truck. Oh, I like the truck. Nice little sideboard truck with a Christmas tree in the back. That's beautiful. And this is Christmas lights. So you can combine these with the words and the pictures and make your own sign or you could use them on your bigger projects. Oh, I love the mittens. And you've got your snowflakes and the little bits of snow. It's beautiful, beautiful artwork. And this is like a mantle of a fireplace. You've got your cardinal and a little bird there and some Christmas stockings and some leaves. It's gorgeous. And here we have, oh, a lantern and some, you know, Beautiful little bit of shrubbery and some pine cones and some Christmas bulbs. It's really, really pretty. You could really get to making some designs with these. Oh, here we got the dove. And it's just beautiful, really pretty. Okay, so again, lots of new things going on at the Crafters Workshop. And I gotta say these stencils and the rubber stamps and the new, um, stencil butters i am just really really excited so let me go ahead and show you the rest of the stencil butters if you guys want to hang out so i showed you chartreuse this is the turquoise look at that oh my gosh they're so pretty i'm gonna end up with a pen, pen, uh, thing all over me let's see let's go with lime green oh they're gorgeous really gorgeous Wow, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna need a baby wipe. Here we go. Okay, lime green. Let's see, what's next? Did I do this? This is terra verte. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is ocean blue. And like I said, I'll hold these up and turn them. Here you can kind of see, I'm using the black and they look different on white 
then they will on black. But to know that they show up on the black, I like because I have these black canvases and I hardly ever use them because when you're using a black canvas, you definitely have to use certain types of paints or you have to mix them with white in order for them to show up. So we've done one, two, three, four, five. Let's go over here. We've got Marigold. And you notice these names actually go with the color sparks. And that's again, another really great product. So you got Marigold. This is Gamboge. You can use these with a palette brush or with a sponge. The texture is just dreamy. It's kind of a mix between whipped cream and cream cheese. I don't even know. It's just amazing. Here is Crimson. Oh, I love red. Something about putting red near turquoise. Oh, really is pretty. Have to see how these look on white next. And here is Fuchsia. And I'm just putting a little bit on my finger. I mean, these are gonna be so much fun. I can see these selling out. I mean, I'm in love. I just opened them. And the next is Orchid. Here we go, a little Orchid. Oh, wow. These are really, really beautiful. Bella, you're gonna have to get down, baby girl. Okay. So here they are, the brand new stencil butters and the stencils, and we've got, I went over everything. So again, this is all a big, big, big release from the Crafters Workshop, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm sorry this was a long video and you had to listen to me ramble on, but I can't wait to see what you guys create. Take care. Bye.